Hi everyone, it's Linda here. Uh, I'm in my kitchen, so it's a little bit noisy because the dishwasher is on at the moment. Um, but I'm just wanting to try and copy what uh, Diana, which is spare mar mar sorry, spare marbles 2012. She did some dyeing with the um, different vegetables and things, and they call it beaks over there, but it's it's beetroot over here. And I just got a cheap jar from, I think it was either Lidl or Aldi, somewhere like that. And what I've done so far, sorry, my, Millie's dancing in the background for attention, so sorry about the tappy feet. I just put some in a, an old baking tray and put a bit of water into it. And what I've got here is various pieces of paper uh, that I'm going to stain and a couple of doilies that I just picked up yesterday. So I'm just going to wet the doilies first, just to see if that helps them take the colour. Now it does smell a little bit vinegary, because obviously this, these um, beetroots are pickled. So it does smell a little pickly. Now that's taking the colour straight away. Probably going to have to just rinse it slightly, but that's can you know, main can shot that's taking it straight away. It's a, quite a pretty color. I'll just squeeze the excess out. I'm just going to run it under the tap just to get that smell out. Now, when I run it under the tap has gone a little bit paler so that's quite pretty and it, it's sort of a bit more it looks a bit more mottled on camera than it actually is it's probably the light that's just it in it so that's got a really nice pink this one I'm not going to wet I'm just going to try it and see how it goes on they are cotton these so uh, it is taking the colour when you first put it in it looks quite ready going to rinse that off and then how's, that's how that's come out again it's uh, a little bit mottled here, so I could put it back in again but I quite like that where it's a little bit faded in places. So that's taken quite well. So we'll just have a look at the paper. Put the tray back. I've never done any, I've never even actually um, steed, uh, tea stain paper or anything. I've never given it a whirl. But this paper's got a bit of coating on it, doesn't seem to want to take it very well, but it is doing. Let's get a tea towel. Now, I know some ladies dry it in the, uh, in the oven. To say I'm slightly accident prone is probably an understatement, so we, we're not going to go for that method. And this is some vintage note, uh, news, music note paper. Too badly. I'm just going to dump a few in at once. The only, the only worry that I think or concern I've got with this is if that strong vinegar smell is going to linger on it. Which if it is, it won't be very pleasant really. I suppose you could dry it outside and so they've not taken too badly. And then 
this is some craft paper, very thin craft paper. And that's taking very well. That hasn't really got any coating on it or anything, so that's taking quite nicely. And in that jar there is sort of baby beetroot which I can boil up and um, or soak in water and make some more juice. This is actually the concentrate that's been in there. So whether this will be a bit darker than it all would turn out, obviously I don't know. So I'd have to have a play with that. But I me and Miss Millie are terribly sorry because we forgot Diana's birthday. And Miss Millie's mortified about it. She's very upset. So we're going to do some of these papers because Diana's starting to do uh, an art journaling course. And uh, we hope some of these might come in useful for her. Seeing as we're terrible friends and forgot her birthday, which is appalling. So that's that. They've all come out fairly well. I'll come back or do a different video because I'm never sure how to add parts onto videos and let you know what it looks like when it's dry. Thanks for watching. Bye.